Amos chapter 6. And the warnings are to Israel north. Also can be applied to Judah, which would follow. Woe to them that are ease in Zion. Relax. Sitting back. Entertaining. Go to Disneyland if they had one. Couch potatoing. No troubles, no problems. That trust in the mountain of Samaria, that's the capital. Trusting in their government. Until they get a Democrat. Which are named chief of the nations. Samaria is, is one of the top. One of the best. To whom the house of Israel came. Came from God. Pass ye unto Kana, Kana, the city. And from thence go to Hamath. Those two cities are in uh, Syria. They're going into captivity. Then go down to Gath with the Philistines. That's where Goliath was from. Be there, be thy better than these kingdoms, or their border greater than your border. You see, what they're doing is to realize the land of Israel, not Palestine. Don't call it the land of Palestine. God said that land is Israel. The land of Israel's got all the resources. It's got the ore, gold, silver. It's got the vegetation, trees, plants, vineyards. You know, a lot of our great inventions of all kinds have come out of Israel. And if it hasn't come out of Israel, it's come out of the Hebrew people. They're running off to other nations. America runs off to, you know, I thought China was so bad, but we run off to China. Russia's so bad. Ever since the war of Russia and Ukraine, how come our gas prices have quadrupled? we got to build a wall against Mexico, but we import and export from Mexico. Japan. Remember December 7th, the day that will live in infamy. Japanese bomb Pearl Harbor. The enemy. You got a Kawasaki? Kawasaki was one of the targets of the World War II of our, of our soldiers. You got a Mitsubishi? Mitsubishi were the engines made they put into the Japanese zeros that attacked Pearl Harbor. Yamaha? You got Yamaha uh, musical equipment? That's another city that was a target of World War II. They attacked Pearl Harbor. They attacked the, the, the grounds of American forces and killed American men, servicemen. On a Sunday morning, instead of being in church, they were intoxicated from the night before. And you know, I read the Pearl Harbor, they got the thing. You know what the Pearl Harbor uh, uh, Museum said? Most of our servicemen were on church or religious services that Sunday morning. Crapola! I lived in a Navy town in Groton, Connecticut. You know where the soldiers were on a Saturday night? They're at all the bars. The parking lot would be full. There were two great known names of topless bars for our American soldiers. Never to mind the bars that were on the subbase, which I was on the subbase. I worked on the subbase. I would have been a police officer for the subbase. Most of our servicemen don't go to church on, on religious services on Sunday morning. But 
That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about they're, they're going to all these nations like America. That, and actually, these nations hate America. These nations hate Israel. God says, why don't you rely on me? You know, God bless America. America don't rely on God. We had a saved president, Bush. 9-11, he called all the country to get, we got to go pray. And I remember we had a special Tuesday night prayer meeting at our church. And that was it. That was it. That died out, fizzed out. That president said, we got to go after this one man, weapons of mass destruction. We killed that man. We got him. They found no weapons of mass destruction. And he was a Republican. Who? Ye that put far away the evil day. It's not going to happen today. The judgment of God, that's tomorrow. They don't need to worry about it. Just relax. That's old time fables of the Bible. Hey, you know, we don't need to worry about it. You know, COVID-19, that came from people eating monkeys or rats or something in, in, in China. And, you know, the gas prices are... Uh, Biden's fault and El Nemo and with the weather changes and all that and global warming according to Al Gore you know, and we, we got an answer for everything and when the church will be raptured I guarantee there will be an answer for that the aliens or somebody will have taken us I don't know and cause the seat of violence to come near that word violence, that's how God described the days of Noah. He said there was violence throughout the whole world. Only eight would survive. That says something. Because Jesus said, as the days of Noah, Noah, as the days of Lot, Days a lot. Four got out, but three made it safe. One looked back. And that scripture is not talking about the church age. It's talking about the Jews in the tribulation. There's not going to be very many Jews in cell of preaching. It even sounds like the 144,000 are going to be beheaded. Or most of them. They lie upon beds of ivory. Look at that ivory again. And didn't we read houses of ivory? Beds of ivory. Look at the luxury. Look at the, the wealth in them. Look how many, and I'm not an animal actor, but look how many, can you imagine how many animals that have ivory? That would be, not only the elephants, you know, the, the walruses, and the rhinos, some of the marine animals have the, the ivory. But it says beds, plural, it's, it's wealth, it's richness. Stretch themselves upon their couches. They're at ease. There's no problem. You don't have Sunday evening services no more. And the men of the ministry, they got all the money. I mean, you realize when you see a picture of Joe Olsen, the guy has yachts. He's got an airplane. I can't imagine what kind of vehicle he had. I've seen some of the, 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 these black Evangelists, teachers on, on the television, they got limos, RVs, instead of teaching the sheep Sunday night or even a Wednesday night, some churches, they're out enjoying their life. 
the hard life. Couch potato themselves upon their couches and eat the lambs out of the flock. Food. <laughs> Sitting down on the couch, laying down in bed, and they're eating. And they didn't have television back then, but today they watch the television. They don't play sports. They watch the football game. Hey, go, 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 go. I, I would have thrown the ball. I would have walked him. You can't even get off the couch. One time you get off the couch, just go in the bathroom to get a beer. Hey, give me another beer. And the calves, that's veal. Out of the midst of the stall. Look at Beds of ivory, lambs out of the flock, calves out of, Look at all the animals dying for them. Man, if I was an animal activist, I'd get upset. They're sitting back, eating, drinking, and be merry. Watch this. Now, they didn't have to eat television. They chant to the sound of the viol, the violin. They got music. And invent themselves instruments of music. That's with a K. It's old spelling. It's, you don't have to change the whole Bible because of K. You can put over in the, in, in the center... Or the ed uh, the edge of the Bible, you can put. This is how the old ways are spelling. It doesn't change it. But you know that that would be good today in the churches today. Mu, you just make me sick. What you play? Blah. Like David, you know. Honey, give me that wash bin that you use. To, hey, give me your symbol. <laughs> You get, you, you get some of these instruments. What, what, what the heck is that? You got this music. You, know, you, you get yourself a, a, a record player. <laughs> what is that? And then, then you sing songs that your English teacher would have a heart attack. And when I hear this rap music, you know what it tells me? You flunked English. I mean, today, not only do they invent instruments, they invent music. Now, like David is, David had new instruments with wood that you never will hear of again. Ooh. He struck out some of the, the wood, the trees. He, he violated some of the trees. Extinct. For God. You think these guys are giving God any time? They're sitting back. Oh, nothing's going to happen to us. Watch this. They drink wine in bowls. <laughs> Picture yourself. A man has a big bowl of cereal. He finishes the cereal. He takes the cereal and he, and he, and he drinks. You, you, you drink the milk. But there's no cereal. There's no milk. It's wine. Friend, I, I, I'm sorry to say, but many years I drank. And I drank Bacardi. I didn't drink beer. I drank Bacardi. I carried my own. But I would, I would go, I would go to a bar before I, I went to go build submarines. And I've been in plenty of bars. I hate to say, I'm not bragging about. But I have never seen. I've seen big glasses. I've seen big mug, mugs, steins or steins, however you pronounce. I've seen those. But I've never seen anywhere. Of all the, the, the drunken parties, I'm sorry to say I went to. I've never seen anybody drink alcohol out of a bowl. I don't even know if these college fraternities and all that. I don't even know if they drink their wine out of a bowl. And you guarantee it's not grape juice. Now 
They got beds of ivory. They're on the couches. They're they're eating lamb and they're eating veal. And it's all oh, man. Nothing's gonna happen. Everything's great. Amos, what you're talking about, either you're full of it or much, much later. And anoint themselves with cheap anointments. The best. You know, and so bad. The littlest bottle of perfume costs the most money. I read, was it was a, a cartoon or something, probably the far side, something like that I'd look at, or, or Family Circus. It's small, but it's big in price. You know, they're supposed to anoint themselves, they're supposed to anoint themselves in olive oil, or oil olive. But they got the best. The only way I'm going to get expensive cologne like that for a man is, is, you know, that magazine where you scratch it and I rub it on myself. That's the only way I'm going to get it. I won't pay that money. If I find a woman, I ain't going to pay that money for her. You're going to get the big bottle. It lasts longer. And the way it smells probably keep other men away from you. So, hey, all right. But they are not grieved, upset, tears, agony, for the affliction of Joseph. They don't care how the, what's going on with the people. They don't care about the news that Amos is giving them. They don't care about the suffering. You know why there's a big uproar right now with people getting shot? is because there's a Democrat in the office. If Donald Trump or a Republican was in office, uh, they won't touch our guns. And then they wouldn't even care. You know, if we had a thing where actually they stopped using guns and they'll use knives or something, or rocks or sticks, and people say, you know, we got to get rid of sticks, we got to get rid of... It. They wouldn't cry foul because you wouldn't be touching their guns. They don't really... Listen, what is the big controversy? The fact is that people are getting killed by guns, or the fact is, you're not going to touch my guns. You want to take your guns away from... Just like Adolf Hitler. Keep your hands off my guns. Wait a minute, the women are saying that about the pregnancy. Keep your hands off my body. Oh, you know, if you if you kill the baby, you know, wait a minute. What's inside that woman? If you kill that, it's a life, right? Yes, yes, it is. What's inside of a gun fire hit somebody in the heart or the head? It kills them. What? You can even come to the very real ancient fact is, yes, guns kill. And like, like you know, you say the votes were stolen. Biden stole, the Democrats stole the vote from the Republicans for Trump. All right, I, I don't care. I, I don't care. There's a problem with our government. If votes are being stolen, okay, I don't care. If the gun control, I don't care. If children are being murdered, okay. Well, we got people get drunk, go on the highway, and they kill other people driving a car. I'll tell you, what the problem is the laws and the authority that we have in America are, are frail and wrong. Because you don't have the crime that's in America... You don't have the crime that's in Japan or China. And the highest crime rate, one of the top ten, is our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. Why don't you look at those issues? We're going to move on. 
Therefore now shall they go captive with the first that go. I mean, you, know, you know the end result is? You're at pleasure, you're at ease, you're, you're eating, you're getting fat, and you've got excellent, great furniture, you're making yourself music, and you're not worrying, you're going to captivity. Why was it, I was watching the People's Court, I, I, I'm not saying anything wrong with bad with the people, I like the People's Court. I was watching a case today, and that's how I get my, my law degree, well not degree, but that's where I get my law intelligence, the People's Court. Okay. And I was watching this thing about a, a dry cleaner. And the woman said, I can't pick up my dry clean because, you know, it was COVID-19. And Judge Milan, she, she chuckled. She turned to the guy that owned or operated the, the dry cleaner. She said, excuse me, sir, COVID-19, and they gave the date in March. Were you open during COVID-19? Because we were open every single day. Stiley gets a bright idea in his head, and pastors start trembling and start getting scared. I, man, you know, you could get your dry clean, but you couldn't go to church and hear the message. Dry cleaners are still open today. And it was also a laundromat. If I had something to go get dry, I can go to a dry clean. Now, now, they're closing up because nobody wants to work, but there's still, there, there are churches still today. They're not open. They're closed. The next wave that the world and Satan has will close the church. You will go back to house churches. The King James Bible, the King James Bible will be attacked. Not the RSV, NIV, and all the other crappies. Well, hope I remember that. And the banquet of them that stretch themselves shall be the banquet will be removed. You don't see thought 2022? The banquet. What's the banquet? That's where they're eating. The restaurants are going to start closing. You're not going to be able to get your lambs in your veal. Have you been to the grocery store? Friend, we're handed to a captivity. Now that captivity is not going to be the Gentiles. It's going to be the Jews with the Antichrist in charge. And whatever food is left, you ain't going to get that unless you receive the mark. And Jews, some will, but Jews don't receive the mark. Jews don't represent. Jews don't bow down before men. Go ask Mordecai. I hate to say it, but when I read the book of Amos, I see 2022. I know what you're going to do with that. I mean, I, I know the Jewish, but uh, let me pardon the, the reference. Maybe that food, and I don't know, maybe, maybe they were living high on the hog. I know they can't eat pig. I know some pastors that, and, and I know of pastors, they're wealthy. Man, I, I guarantee their diet is great. And women today, outside of women today, they mean pastors, wives, they don't know how to cook. And I read a thing the other day, oh, a while ago, a long time ago. A lot of the American women, a lot of the American parents, they don't go to the kitchen no more. They go to the restaurant. And they describe the house or the apartment that you're living as rotary. You go in there, change your clothes, fix your hair, and you're back out somewhere else. The average American family don't stay home no more. That's what I read. The Lord God has sworn by himself. You swear to tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, me. Can you imagine God doing that? Say it, the Lord God of hosts. 
Look at that statement. God swears by himself, says God. I abhor the excellency of Jacob. I hate his palaces. Now put that with the lies of seeing church age. In Revelation chapter 3, you think you're rich, you think you're wonderful, you think you're great, you think you're na miserable, naked, poor, blind, and... I didn't quote that completely right. Therefore, I, God's sick and tired of your big, fancy church. You know how I know that? They're closed. We can't have church services because we can't afford the air conditioning. Well, you got too big of a building. Then why don't you study Proverbs, where the eyes of his, uh, is to reach out beyond the earth. Let's build this big church. <laughs> that we got an air conditioner heat. Why can't you have a low underhand? Things are not like that in New England, my friend. Not the Baptist churches in New England. I mean, they got a low uh, overhead. Down here in Florida. We went too far below the, the Bible Belt. I was going to say something nasty, but I, I won't. See, I don't say everything that comes in my head. I be in trouble. I am in trouble. Therefore will I deliver up the city with all that is there. That's when the Assyrians come. And I guarantee you they did what they did in Jerusalem. and They destroyed it all. You know, when we are raptured out of here, your church building is here for the Antichrist. We invited them to church, but we didn't invite them to Jesus. And it shall come to pass that there remain ten men in one house that they shall die. And it doesn't say, I mean, they all run, it looks like they run into one house and they're captured, they're dead. Friend, that's the story of World War II. Those Nazis went door to door. When, when people help the Jew in World War II and the ones that are going to help in the tribulation period, I, I've seen documentaries, and they got it. If you go over Germany, some of these houses, they remove the paneling. And if you look at your house, the, the void between the studs, there were some Jews that stood in those studs for days. To hide from the Nazis. You ought to get your head out of the public school system and get it in true history. I don't, when I, when I get a biography or I get a book about history or that, I look at the date of the copyright. The older the copyright, the better chances I have I'm going to get that book. I don't usually get a book that. Unless I know the man that I, or the, 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 the person teaching, or writing, I don't usually get a book that's 1970s and, and older. It's old copyright, unless I know the person writing, or the subject matter at hand. But there are some books I get, okay, it may be in 1970, something like that, I know. And I got to decipher, oh, hey, wait a minute, that's wrong. <laughs> you got to throw that out. And a man's uncle shall take him up. Family. I would assume that this is before they died. And he that burneth him. So we have two different cases. We got ten men that run in the house. They're killed. Alright, we got some... A burning. To bring out the bones out of the house. You're not going to drag the body out. You're going to burn the body. I don't have no idea what that, what that is.
I don't know if it's a burial ceremony, a, a burning the body, or they don't see you doing it. Because you, you're under attack? And shall say unto him that is by the sides, plural, of the house. Somebody comes walking up, he's under, he says, is there any with thee? He shall say, the, one, the uncle, no. No one else here. Then he shall say, the one that asks, is there anybody here? I think, hold thy tongue. For we may not make mention of the name of the Lord. All right, these are two Jews. Do you know how the Jews write God today? Capital G dash D. They are afraid to write the name of God. They, they, there, there's a Hebrew writing of Jehovah. I don't. It's not Yahweh. When they write that word, when they, when they are transcribing the scroll, and the scribe sits down, when he comes to that name of God, and, and I'm not going to say it completely. So I'm going to give an illustration. But it's, it's, it's more like it, but not complete. Either he sharpens his, his quail, his, or he gets a brand new one. And the ink, and all the way, just to write that name. There's a ceremonial, ah, and reverence to that name. And they take it for the fact that thou shalt not take the name of the Lord of God in vain. Overriding that Amos said, you're not even going to mention the name of the Lord. And you can look into things. You can do a search online. I didn't. You know, time and all that. And it's finding it interesting of the custom of the Jews. And the very name of the Lord. He said, well, they're going overboard. If only the church had that to Jesus Christ. Oh, we did not fool around so much in the church and the service. We did not have so much of the world. If we would glorify and glorify the name of Jesus properly. If, if. I go to a prayer meeting. Or prayer night. I don't hear anybody. You pray for because they need to be saved. I don't hear that no more. I mean, I hear the cancers. And I don't hear they're down on their luck. I don't. I don't know why I said that. For behold, the Lord commanded. And what are you supposed to do when the Lord commands? And he will smite the great house, that's this thing big, with breaches. He's going to put a bunch of holes, holes in that house and it's going to cave in. It's going to fall out. That's what he did to the wall in Jerusalem under Babylon. And the little house with clefts. You're going to collapse. All houses. Shall horses run upon the rock? I don't know. I don't know nothing about horses. Will one plow with the oxen? I mean, both animals you can hook up. Horses you can put to a carriage, and yeah, there's oxen that plow. I don't know how to answer that first. 
I don't have all the answers. For ye have turned judgment into gall. That's bitterness. People are walking away. Out of, oh, that was unfair. There was no justice. There are a race of people of color in this nation, and they are getting away with everything because they are of one color. How do I know? BLM. There's no JLM, WLM, BLM. Well, let me black. I was talking about Brown. The National Advancement for Colored people. When you say slavery, you say the African American. There are other people that were in slavery. The Jews, for one. And you can open up your Bibles that you find in the Covered Baptist Church in Exodus, and you can find the Jew being slavery to the Egyptians. Justice is unfair in America under the Constitution and the amendments. Because if you've been arrested, you have the right to remain silent. A woman who has been raped must speak in trial. You have a right to a phone call. If that person has been violated, don't have a quarter or cell phone, you're out of luck. If you can't afford an attorney, one will be uh, uh, given to you. What about the victim if they can't afford an attorney? In the event that you have been accused of a crime, you will be given a suit to wear in court. What if you don't have a suit? You will be driven to the police facility. And what about you getting a ride, the victim? You will get free air conditioning and heating. What about the victim? You will get... Free television, free sports equipment, free weight room, free food, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Don't tell me I've been six years in the prison ministry. And one of them, yeah, the guy complained, you know, for Thanksgiving we had turkey sandwiches or whatever it was. And you ain't going to get no crybaby out of me, I think so. I'm going to go home. I think my wife made chicken soup. I don't like turkey. There are people I know from New London, Connecticut. Their houses were taken over by the government called Eminent Domain. And from what I've seen from pictures, they didn't do what they wanted to do with that property. It's a waste. Their houses were torn down and nothing happened. I remember one guy fought and fought and fought and fought and fought. He put a big cardboard sign and said he hated it. Or a plywood sign. A woman and a man, they worked their entire life together, husband and wife. They, they, hire, they pay for their house. One of them dies and the, and the state and the IRS comes in and taxes the, 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 the widow. You already been paying your taxes. Well, you know, your spouse, they made an IRS error 14 years ago. Uh, it should have been a 7 instead of a 5. Now we're going to tax you for the mistake. We're going to put interest upon interest of all those years. Injustice. And the people today are worried about a Democrat. I worry about the Democrats and the Republicans. They're all liars. I'm looking for one. I'm waiting for one man. One man I'll bow down. One man I'll declare as my, my ruler. Jesus Christ. And he my ruler. He's my Lord God and Savior. He's my husband. Wait for him to take the government. The righteous judge of all the earth, Abraham said. He said, Lot. We're talking about Lot. Lord God of all the earth. Are you going to get the righteous with the... He went for 40 little sodomites, 30 little sodomites, and 20, they said Indians were sodomites. God, got, God and Abraham got down to 10. He said, oh, 
He couldn't even find ten righteous people in Sodom. You think this is bad in America? <laughs> By the way, the gall, the Holy Spirit is a type of dove. And gall produces um, bitterness. The dove has no gallbladder. The fruit of the righteous into hemlock. That's poison. The righteous man, the one that does righteous, wherefore by your fruit you know him, the fruit of the righteous are poison. You realize there are churches today that people say this prayer and they're going to go to hell. If you mow the lawn, God will reward you. And you get to heaven, where, where's, my lawn where's my lawn reward? I'm trying to say that for time. There is no lawn reward. No. Yeah, lawn reward. I want to say lawn more. There is no Lawn reward in heaven. But my pastor, I don't care what your pastor said. Pastor, it's so good to see you in the. Pastor, where's all your crowns? I didn't get one. I didn't even get the pastor's crown. Who's that over there? That's styling. He's got crowns. Shut up. Are you telling me he was right all? Shut up. Over here. What's that you're holding in your hand? The King James Bible you gave me. Shut up. I don't want to hear it. The righteous has poison. Did you hear me? The fruit of the righteous is, po is hemlock. That's poison. Jesus said, wherefore by their fruit you should know them. Poison. The fruit of the righteous is poison. You didn't get that. If that's not the church today, I don't know what is. All are welcome. There are churches today of denomination, probably even Baptist somewhere, they are celebrating gay sodomy. I saw today, I can't I couldn't believe Target. I don't know if I can say okay, they had all their sodomy, the rainbow and gay pride for pet goods. Pet toys for celebrating. I saw today at Walmart gay pride ice cream. I don't even want to know what the flavors are. I'd be sick. I mean if you really want to have a gay ice cream, I could tell you some disgusting flavors. I can tell you about scat. You say, what's scat? That's where sodomites eat their own doo-doo. How's that for a flavor? Oh, you didn't hear about that on ABC, CBS, and, and all the other. You don't hear about the disgusting thing that sodomites do. You don't hear about genital warts that they give each other. Never mind. The I, move on. Yeah, ye which rejoice in such Boy, got me going. Ye which rejoice in a thing of naught. Go team, go! All right, team, go, go! Yay, touchdown! Yay! What the heck does that do in heaven? Angels don't rejoice. I got my favorite team shirt on. So what? I got a King James 1611 shirt. Come on, kids, we're all going to Mickey Ratland. Yay! For what? We're going to sit in the floor of the sun for two hours in line and pay an outrageous ticket price. Yeah! <laughs> a lot of these things at the church today, God's going to say, <sighs> Gabriel, give him the dustpan. Wood, hay, or stubble. That's not. You give hay to an animal, you know what it comes out as? <laughs> manure. Some places harden the manure and burn it. <laughs> Wood.
which say, Have we not taken to us horns by our own strength? Horns is strength in the Bible. You know, that's grabbing a bull by the horns. That's the wrong position to be messing with a bull. He's going to run you over. You say, what's the best way to grab a bull? You don't. <laughs> I mean, look, look at our strength. We have taken it. We are the champions. We are the Americans. And have it. Ugh. Can we have some good news? What happened? What happened, Thailand? They got saved. Amen. Glory to God. Open the book of life. Glory to Jesus Christ. A lost soul got saved. Amen. You see the video I put today. And I, I forget if it was Chinese or Japanese. They open up a box and put it hidden. Underground church, they open up the box and realize there's Bibles. They're hugging. They're kissing those Bibles. They're, they're romantic. They turn the pages ever so gently. I know a church where the pastor doesn't even bring his Bible when he gets to the pulpit. I don't care! I haven't named names yet, but if you want me to, never have my time of my years of being saved since 1987, have I never seen a pastor get to a pulpit without his Bible? Now, I had one time, I had a preacher, honey, go home. What? I left my Bible on the table. Go get it for me. The pastor turned to me. That's the first time I ever forgot my Bible in all the years. Well, that's, that's not, I know a pastor doesn't even bring his Bible. In the middle of a Bible study one day, he had to, can, can, can you give me your Bible? It wasn't even King James. They're, no, they're not all King James. I don't care. And you're going to get upset because you're the guilty one. I realize, you know, when you get upset with me, it's because you're guilty, not me. But, behold, I will raise up against you a nation. Assyria, Babylon for Judah, Rome for Judah, uh, the Medes and the Persians for Babylon, the Greeks for the Medes and Persians. You say, what? How is God, America's not ever going to get destroyed? Yeah, right. How is God going to destroy America? He's going to get a nation. And he's going to open up America and go get him, boy. Sick him. See, what nation is that? I don't know. But I guarantee they'll be more fierce than what we are. O house of Israel. Then there'll be one man against all nations. Anyway. O house of Israel, saith the Lord God of hosts of everything. They shall afflict you from the entering in of Hamath, that's a city, unto the river of the wilderness, the border, of, of, we're going to get you. You're gone. You're finished. Looking up something. That river of the world is the river of Egypt. That's all the way down south. That's even most southerner than, and that's a word, Bathsheba. Some biblical maps have it. And that's not denial. If you look, some, some Bible maps have them, some don't. If you look along the Mediterranean Sea, there's a river down south below Bathsheba. It's called the river of Egypt. And there's another river. I forget his name. And then you got, what did I say? Hamath, Hamath, Hamath. That's the northernmost border. You ain't going to run from God. That also pictures the Antichrist. But God's going to give them a place. 